I'm Emily with Nancy's Notions, and today I want to talk about some small but mighty tools to keep by your sewing machine for all kinds of little sewing emergencies. So first we have the mini cut and press. It has a pressing surface, cutting surface, and this great little ruler. Then we've got the seam ripper clippers, the clover roll and press, the sixth finger stiletto, and the lighted pin picker upper. These are all great tools to keep next to your machine. I'm going to show you why. If you don't have a hot iron, we like to use this wonderful little roll and press from Clover. This is one of our best sellers and there's a good reason for it. It's highly effective. Watch this. So I've just stitched some half square triangles and I want to press them. So we're going to take this little guy and we're going to press our seam allowance to the dark side. So we're going to hold our seam open and we're just going to roll over it like this. Pressing and that's all without an iron. So now let's book seam it open. Pressing your seams open is the key to a good prize winning quilt. So you can see I can get right in there with my fingers and not worry like it's not too hot. So if you're extra heat sensitive or you want to get right up in there, this thing is great for getting those seams to lie nice and flat. And what you're doing by putting it right on the table is you're kind of breaking those fibers so that they lie extra flat, nice low profile. So this is wonderful to take with you to class. It keeps a very small footprint in your working area. Um, it comes with this great rotary cutter friendly ruler. Uh, so you can keep a mini iron next to your machine and press on this. You can flip it over and trim um, and square up blocks right here without getting up. So that saves you a lot of time. And I'm using my marks on the ruler to make sure I've got a perfect diagonal and a nice vertical as well. We'll just trim that edge. So we're going to pin our two pieces together on the seam. I'm just going to stitch them together. And this is where the six finger stiletto comes in. If you got to get right in there, um, you can use this when you're binding and you have to hold the binding down. It's got a flat fingered edge, sharp little point. Those two can get right in there. So say, you know, I want these to hold very, very still, but I don't want to roll over my pins. I use our stiletto to come in here, hold this seam down as I pull this pin out so that my machine doesn't roll over it because we don't want that. That's very, very bad. But our sixth finger stays there and allows us to get in really, really close without worrying about stabbing ourselves. And bam, we can get right up close in there. Take our pins out. It's so nice if you've had a bad experience getting your fingers too close. It's really nice to just have this right near your machine. And look at that. See how close I got in there? Cut it out. Take it off. Let's look at this guy. That is a perfect point. And look at we've got our perfect amount of seam allowance up top. So once again, we can use our fun little roll and press and we're gonna hold our seam apart look at that that's perfect now we've got this lovely seam ripper clipper and this guy it has a wonderful seam ripper tip but it's also got clippers so you know how like you're in the zone and you're just plowing through and then it gets full. You don't have to take the seam ripper out and clean it all off. No, 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 you just clip through that jumbled garbled mess and keep on going, watch. This navigates small parts very easily and that's great, but if you have just a long row of stitches like a zigzag or um, a, three, a three thread serge, you can just run right along here. You can run this through at a very fast clip. And if at any point your uh, ripper part gets gummed up and, and you've hit like a snag, all you gotta do is clip 
and, and you're free. So these are really, really great. These are nice and sharp, but if you sew a lot and you serge a lot, these are just a wonderful, indispensable tool to keep by your machine. Last but not least, we have the humble lighted pin picker upper. This guy is awesome. It has a telescoping wand, pulls really far apart, and then the, um, the head has a light on it but it's got a nice bright light. So if you drop some pins on the floor, this is perfect because all you gotta do is turn that little light on, extend your telescope, and then I'm gonna search. <gasps> there are the culprits right there. And all I gotta do is go boom, 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 magnetized, just like magic, there they are. I didn't even have to bend over in front of my machine. I didn't have to get down on my hands and knees. It's right there. So easy. Okay. So there they all are. Easy grab. No worrying about leaving my machine again. How cool is that? So there you have it. Those are a few small but mighty tools to keep next to your machine. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up down below or leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. <laughs>